Mm. I don't think anybody would believe this story. Hello, everyone. This is my 60 minutes and 15 minutes walk. Um, I tried recording it, but Streamlabs defaults to mute, as you see, so there's no sound, so I have to narrate. So you're missing some of my, my wit. Anyway, so we're getting ready for the race. Everybody's standing around, we're getting ready. The guy's trying to talk us up, saying, so ready to go. But this was the course and my pace and my final time, as you see. I wanted, I wanted now 15 minutes. It's a mile, but oh well. No, I was under, under 20, so I was good. So everybody's talking us up. He says, get ready, get ready, buddy. We're, we're going to try, we're going to do it. We're going to try. Here we come, get ready. You guys talking. We're going to try, right? Try your best. And try you will. It's showtime. And we're walking. And everybody, we're walking. So we get to see a little bit of the sights of downtown Riverside. And it's a big pile at the front, so it takes a while to get through the starting gate. We're at the back of the pile. So actually it takes a little time, like about a minute to get there. So by squeezing through. And um, you see the nice condos they have for students and a few businesses on the sides. Those apartments might be for mostly for college kids or for normal people who just want to live downtown. But um, north of here, as you see, it's called, uh, what's it called? Like um, Northside, I think it's called, Northside. And behind us is downtown proper and to the right of this. We're kind of downtown. We'll come back to here later. The course is just a big loop. And just looking around at people, you see all the puppies and dogs. And it's pretty sad when a sporting event, when your dogs outrun you. But And little kids in strollers and stuff. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's a walk. Uh, I wanted to train for the run, but I'm just too busy and too tired. What can you say? It's too old. Yes, too old to begin the training. <laughs> yes, thank you, Yoda. I, I like that better. I am too old, too old to begin the training. So the run for me, I was going to do the, the 5K run. Some of the family did the 5K walk. I mean, the 10K. Um, and they had a half marathon there also, but most of everybody did the, the 10K run. A few did the 5K run, and my son and I did the 5K walk because we're too old to begin the training. Thank you. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. So we're heading towards the park, which we make a left turn at, and you can see all the nice, there's a lot of pups in this race, cute, cute pup, kitty pups. I tried to find, but I couldn't find it. There was a mini, uh, like a mini snow dog there with like a short little legs. It was pretty cute. He was around this, around this time I recorded him, but I'm not sure where. I didn't find it, but, but he was cute. He was to, to my right side somewhere. But um, like cute pups, and they were making their little whoop, whoop, whoop sounds, and was, that's what's missing is that doggy noises. I mean, they're all yapping and barking, and it's pretty funny. But we're heading around the corner, and three miles is a lot farther than you think. <laughs> it's like, this is a long way, and I can imagine doing this twice, like in the 10K. <laughs> oh, my gosh. As, as a youngster, I ran the – long as I ran was like, a, I think, a 9K. It was a Stroh's. Remember that? Stroh's beer? Stroh's race in, in Alhambra. And that was a, just a straight line. Oh, my gosh. Down the street, down Valley Boulevard in um, St. Gabriel, I remember somewhere over there. And, and that's, that, was, that was like, like crazy because that thing, there's no turns, no nothing. It was just a straight line. I mean, you have no idea how fast you're going because, you, you know, you're used to going in circles or, or on a course. But with a straight line, it's real hard to judge distance. That's a whole new skill I never had because I always ran cross country and, and track. So none of that running around the corner stuff. So we're heading into the park and make the left turn. Um, I think the park around here is called Ryan Bonamino Park. You can look it up. He was a sheriff in the early 2000s, I guess. There was a, a guy in a, I don't know what that was, but there was a guy in the, a big rig truck who stole it. And he pulled over in the dark right here to run away from the cop. So he stopped the cop, got behind him, and he just jumped out of the truck and ran into the darkness over here in these houses up ahead. And, of course, the sheriff, you know, being macho and stuff, and ego-driven, chase him into the dark by himself, you know. Come on. I know you want to catch him, but, you know, 
really. And um, the guy hit him with a stick and took his gun and killed him. So they named the park after him, Ryan Bonimino. You can look it up. So we're going up the little hill. Some dirt. Um, I'm just looking at the hills and stuff and talking about the area. Um, the hill on the left side, you can see, is dark. I think it was from the, a fire. That's what it looked like what I was talking about. It looked like it was burnt. And some trees on the side look like a uh, fire also. And right, right around here, the doggies really start to yap and make funny noises and squeaks and stuff. And I wish I had it. It was, it was good. But um, I made a little bit of uh, sound. It was something like this, the sound you can hear. I'm going to play it in, in a few seconds. Yes, something like that. Just yapping and beep, 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 and all kinds of weird noises. Guess they're not liking the walk. They're still ahead of me. So we're walking around the lake now. Make a little left turn. And I had to zigzag through people. I'm going faster. I'm after a record. I'm going full speed. Okay, get in my way. Move. Get out the way. And out to the left, there's some houses up there. I said I was saying they're probably multi-million dollar houses, but I guess not. I guess they're on sale for cheap. We have three quarters of a million. So lake views, walkers, walking views, up to the left, and that's the Foreign Legion, I think, right there. You see this? You see the flag later, and um, just looking up towards the lake again. The roses and such roses bushes over there, like a rose farm. There's more houses, and they're cheap. Well, they're not a lot cheaper than I thought, but um, this is a restroom area in case you need a break. You know, gotta go, gotta go. And make the turn into the park. And lakes on the right side. And this you need water on their long three mile walk. Jeez. Water really it was kinda hot actually. I got hot. And that's the water station. Here's the water for state people. And I kinda missed it, which is a good thing. Um the person behind me told the volunteers here, Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And that's that's true. So I should have said the same thing. Because you know, they're volunteering their time and you know, they help you out. And that was pretty cool, but but they had well, I didn't need any water or Gatorade. They Gatorade on the left side, water on the right side, and I didn't need it. I'm fine. So that the long of a walk. So it's a view of the lake, our fresh yummy. I think it's Lake Evans. That's what it's called. Um, in this lake, and we're just zigzagging through people, zigzagging through dogs. The dogs are starting to take breaks on the right side on the dirt, and. Um, You can see the distance. There's a, some kind of military thing. We'll see it later. I never, actually, I never actually been here. I live pretty close, but I've never been here. Which is, you know, it's the way things are. You see people on the left side, the speedy people already, you know, going the other direction. How dare you? <laughs> and uh, see them. Like, wow, was this a race or something? I guess so. But um, we're walking along. We see a guy fishing on the right side. And some guy in, in the group said, hey, my, hey, Joe, hey, Joe Black, hey, blah, blah, how you doing, brother? Hey, we, I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, man, I'm just fishing. So that's what he said. It's just some guy walking. You know, small small world. And we noticed that in where we live, you know, in our town, that you see, you know, you think no, you're think you not going to see anybody, but when you walk it along, go to the store, stuff like that, there's um, here's our delicious water. Yay, you have fresh water. There was a sign for fishing. It said, if you eat this fish, you'll die within 10 minutes. So say goodbye bye bye to that fishing guy. You know, he's going to die pretty soon. So that's our clean water. Yeah, makes you want to go fish and eat some of that yummy, healthy fish, right? Uh-oh, there's a there's a the killing machine with a little deuce-deuce, as my son said, on top <laughs> at 22. <laughs> so they'll be shooting at you, and you, and they'll, you just duck and miss the, and the round would miss you. And you go, hey, that's, and the guy would say, yeah, that's pretty rude of you. Oh, we're turning. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Turn around. And um, the round would miss you, and he would say, it's very rude of you to, to duck when I'm shooting at you, you know, because you're not going to hit anything with that little bitty round. So you probably just run away and duck from it. But so we're on the way, and there's another view of the lake going back the other way. And um, there's a lot more green on the right side. There was a, I was looking at the green plants and stuff. 
there's a big field on the right side, and I wonder, this house is to the left which is, that we passed, who owns that land over there, and why don't they develop it? Because I can say it would be pretty expensive. Maybe it's a floodplain, you can see on the right side, but it's all empty. I thought that was odd. I said, why is that no, no houses there? Maybe it's state land or just conservatory land or something, but I was thinking about that. Thinking about that, and we're just cruising along, and There's a, the flag for the Foreign Legion, as I said. There it is. When I finished the race, I saw it later. They fin eventually finished. And at the end of the race where I saw them, there was a ambulance and stuff. So somebody didn't quite make it. Hopefully they're okay uh, after the race is over. And I didn't see who or what. We are walking back towards our car. And uh, I think that's it. And 5K that way. This is 5K. Every size is 5K run, but we're walking. So... They need to change those signs. You see the pups. The pups are still doing good. No problem. And this is, I guess it's not really a sporting event if you can eat pizza or drink your coffee with you while you're, while you're walking. So I guess it's not really a, <laughs> a sporting event. But I was trying to go fast. I was trying to pick up the pace best I could. And here comes the big hill. There's a big, giant hill that this is, this is, how, this is how it felt, okay? It's very rude of them to put a hill here. I said, who who put a hill here? That's very rude of them. You know, hills aren't fun. Does it look fun to you? Nope. But it wasn't fun to me either. So it's hard to see, but here we go. So we're uphill now. And you can, it, looks, it, doesn't, it looks flat, but it's not. It's bigger than you think. I mean, boy, like, how rude. Put a hill here. I'm tired. And we're probably getting close to two miles by now. And so we're trying to everybody spread out and work a little harder. Go up this hill. I've never been up here either. My kids have, but I have not. You see the nice houses with cactus, cacti, cactuses, whatever um, people have for decoration. Nice sculptured plants on the right side. See, nice and square. That takes time and effort. You know, make the turn up another hill. That's 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 the way the six k the fight the ten k goes that way. We're taking the shortcut this way back back towards the we're going back towards Riverside now, towards downtown. And there's another big hill we have to go up. And another sign and just zigzagging through the people trying to make some time. It's hard to make time when you're walking. But and here's those people with signs. They have a whole bunch of loud music and stuff. And these are the signs they had. They're pretty funny. They were laughing and pointing and had loud music. That was kind of an interesting little area. Too bad you missed that too. No sound, but it's kind of hilarious. I thought it was. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was a good idea, but it's not really a good idea, was it? <laughs> That's for sure. You're just trying to cheer you on. You know, get everybody going. And lots of cones, people waiting in their cars to get by. And we're on the flat now, so now it's kind of slightly downhill. And we're heading towards downtown with all the pups. See, they're doing good. Better than me. The pups having no problem at all. I used to walk our pups in our walks, and uh, they do okay, but not like this. No, never, never went this far, especially at this speed because they're going pretty. They're going pretty fast. It's pretty good for little poodles and chihuahuas and stuff, you know. And I'm um, just watching the pups move along. And I can see in the distance. We can see the. Downtown, I'm probably the last mile now. And um, I have my, it's not Garmin, it's a, it's a running app that reads out speed, distance, and everything else. And, and it was reading off as we were going, so you can't hear that either. But oh well. But I did put the final speed at, you know, at the end. So I was satisfied. Not, run, not running or walking at all. I didn't train at all for this. So that's pretty good for that. My son trained, but he... We're gonna run the ten k, but they closed off the registration, so he couldn't go. The only thing that was open was was the walk, so so he did the walk with me, and we're getting down to the downtown. This is where we. This is the start line where we started. So we make a right turn at this place right here. There's a Starbucks here too, and stuff like stuff like that. So that's where we parked. So parking lot where we parked, and we're in the final stretch, 
and I watch my battery because it's really like crazy. I was down to like 5% right here. So I keep checking the battery to make sure it's going to make it. I said, I better stop it because I don't know what's going to happen to the video. So I um, ended it before it died. It was like 2% when I ended it. So it was like ready to go. But I put the end of the race um, in the end. And we're finished. Yay. All right, then. I'm just going to go watch a movie.